Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Canada's World. My name is Canada, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a Buffalo Wild Wings taste test. We have here 12 of their top flavors, some of the dry rubs, some of the wet, um, wet stuff, but it's going to be all good. We're going to try them out, we're going to taste them, we're gonna, I'm going to let you know how they taste so you could either be warned or you could actually get it yourself and be excited. Before we get into it, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. There'll be other videos just like this of taste tests. And if this is your first time here, I do taste tests of different foods. I give my review of it so you can understand it or see it for yourself if it's something you want to do or try. At the same time, I also do tech reviews and find out what it is bang for your buck to save you some cash. Again, this is also save you some money. So some of these flavors, if they're not good, I'll let you know. If they're too spicy, I'll let you know. So you don't have to worry about it. When you go there, you know you, what you order. It's going to be good and delicious. Or what you buy on Amazon, it's going to be good. A link in the description below will give you, detail, give you a list of all the gear that I'm currently using to film this. So you can try it out and maybe do it for yourself. But without further ado, let's get into it. Twelve different flavors. And I'll list them out so you guys can kind of know what I ordered. We got the teriyaki, the spicy garlic. The spicy garlic is one of my favorite that I've had there before. So I'm excited about that one. We got the chipotle barbecue here. We got the sweet barbecue here. Lemon pepper, another one of my favorites. I'm excited. We got the Asian zing. That's going to be a new one for me. Most of these are new ones, by the way, but we got the uh, Parmesan garlic, desert heat, hot barbecue, the blazing. Uh, that's going to be interesting. That'll be for the last one. Thai curry, one of their newest flavor, Korean barbecue. And that's going to be exciting to try out, too. Let's get into it. We got everything laid out. We got everything presented right. I got the flavor stickers right in front so I can tell you what they are. Let's go with sweet barbecue first. We'll go along the top and the bottom. Good? Good. All right, let's go with sweet barbecue first so it's not to kill the taste buds first. Let's just go with sweet. There you go. Very good. Let's dig in. Mm. Sweet barbecue first. Pretty good flavor. Now if you're in for it, for the flavor of the meat, this is the one you want. You, you, you get a lot of chicken instead of the spiciness or the sweetness. It's primarily focusing on the chicken flavor. One through ten. This is probably a five, maybe six. Mm. Good. Good flavor. But it needs to have more heat, more power, more oomph. So sweet barbecue. Six. So we just finished our sweet barbecue. That one's pretty much gonna be for the kitties. There's no heat to it, it's on the mild side, but you still get chicken and it's still a wing, so it's a good good in my book, but you need something more powerful. And we're gonna go to the teriyaki. Let's try that out. Let's go with one that has a pretty good coating of it. There we go. There you go. Good. Mm. Definitely good. See, even if it's mild and it's not spicy, it has a lot of flavor to it. But honestly, teriyaki is a very popular flavor. A lot of rice bowls uses teriyaki. 
tell you Teriyaki chicken is in a lot of those um, Hawaiian barbecues. So teriyaki is a very common flavor. It is very sweet, very good. And you can't go wrong with it. If you don't want anything spicy, the teriyaki is the way to go. I consider that one a lot better than the sweet barbecue, in my opinion. It's a definitely must have. It's a really good one. Let's go for another bite. Definitely a good one. Now, just because I rated that out of 10, I'm gonna rate this one out of 10. I'm gonna give my chance higher than the sweet barbecue, so I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven and a half maybe, because it's a strong flavor, but it's not gonna be one where I'm gonna go back to Buffalo Wild Wings for that flavor. It is good if I'm there, and I have extra another flavor that I need to pick, and I'm not feeling spicy, that'd probably be the one I go for. And always, always have napkins. Mm. The spicy garlic. Now this one is gonna get, we're stepping into the field of spiciness. Now when I go, my wife, this is the one that my wife goes to. This is her purse, pretty much. So I'm gonna taste it and review it for you. Now the sad thing about this one is that they gave me all wings and no drumstick and drumstick is my preferred piece. But I'm not gonna discriminate. Let's go with the wing. Alright. There's many ways of eating the wing. You can just bite into it. Me personally, I'll rip off one of the leg. leaves you with this. This is a small piece over there alone. It was pretty spicy already, so I'm excited about this. So at this point this is pretty much gonna be falling off. Wow, that heat really gets you. But there's so much flavor in there. It kind of plays with your taste buds. It has a little heat, but it, it lingers in your mouth, so that heat is really good. But it's not too overpowering where you get away from the chicken. So out of that one, I'll give it a solid eight. You get some good heat in there, you got some good flavor. And you'll probably order it when you're there, but it's not something that you're gonna be craving. It's not gonna be like, oh wow, I want that. So keep that in mind, but when you're there, I do recommend it. So right now, it's the spicy garlic, teriyaki, sweet barbecue. That is the order of preferred to least preferred as of right now. Lemon pepper. Now this, all right, this is my go-to. Already you know, it's gonna be top of the list. My favorite, but let's bring it to you. Let's have you try it out. Take a bite. Enjoy. My turn. Alright. Oh. This is really good. The reason I like it is because it's subtle flavors, but a lot of flavors. It's not too, it's a dry rub, so it's not too saucy as the other ones have, but at the same time, it's still coated enough. And even in some cases, you can even ask them to give you more of the lemon pepper on the side, so you can even dip more into it or sprinkle it on to add more of it. So what I have here right now is ranch. I'm gonna dip this into the ranch. There you go. Lemon pepper ranch wing right here. Mm. 
You get the taste of the chicken, you get a little bit of the lemon, you get a little bit of pepper. Again, I get, if you haven't seen my other videos, I've stated this again before. Simplicity is quality. If you do something, if something basic, you do it really well with quality products and quality things, it'll taste better than if you went extravagant. Simplicity is key. And this, you get the chicken, lemon, pepper, period. And it's awesome. You definitely need to try it out. Just like the other ones I've rated so far, this one, I'm gonna rate it as a nine. The reason for it is because, again, simplicity is key. And whenever I think of wings, this is a flavor that comes to mind right away for me. It's so far gonna be lemon pepper, spicy garlic, teriyaki, sweet barbecue. Now this isn't based on heat, this is just based on my taste and my preference. Next one on our list is gonna be Thai curry. This one's a new one for me. This one I haven't had, this one I, I haven't talked to anyone that's had it. So, let's try it out for the first time together. Let's go the one on top. If you look at it, take a bite, enjoy. My turn. All right. Mmm. Ooh. Definitely hit heat. Definitely got some heat in there. You definitely wow. <laughs> Change my voice. <laughs> Alright. Now this one is very secretive. So it's very it, it hits you with a little bit of a lot of flavor because of the curry. But the heat comes at you afterwards so it's like you're like oh, okay some curry good 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 boom it hits you with the spice so be careful about that but it is very good flavor that's the only if you like curry curry is very very polarizing some people love curry some people don't like curry and there's different levels of curry at the same time there's um japanese curry there's indian curry there's spicy curry there's yellow curry thai curry it's very difficult to kind of distinguish from one to the other there's a lot of the minor ingredients but this one thing was Thai curry I warn you there's some heat to it but it is a lot of flavor it's something very unique so it's definitely a try I do recommend it because it is adventurous but it isn't like it isn't a wing wing it's something you you want to try like order a set and have everyone try one as a dare or something like that. But if you're there for a wing wing to have a party, this one would be one that you would order. It's just more for experimenting and trying because it is really good and it's really surprising. It's a little difficult because this is kind of out of there. Um, between the, oh wow, it, it, it lingers in there. Okay, between the spicy garlic and the Thai curry, I'd have to give it to the Thai curry. Because the flavors kind of are more impactful. So, my rating so far, lemon pepper, Thai curry, spicy garlic, teriyaki, sweet barbecue. But it is a definite must have, definite must try. Woo, that was a, that was a good one. All right, let's move on to the next one. This one that I'm actually kind of worried about because it's a desert heat, so I don't know the scale of it, but it looks like a beast. All right. Both sides look like a beast. I'll show it to you. Take a bite, enjoy, my turn. So we're going into the desert heat, so. We're to take off the bone. Of the meat. Got the heat on there, right there for you.
It looks more scary than it actually is. It isn't that spicy. There is some heat, but very subtle heat. It kind of lingers in the back. The pepper is there, the heat is there, but there isn't much flavor to it. So this one I would avoid. It's a dry rub, so it, the fry has to be there and they have to coat it a little bit. And it dries your mouth up really fast <laughs> without flavor. So it's kind of a hard. I would, I would not get that one. That one would be one of the ones I would avoid because you don't get the flavor of the chicken and your mouth leaves a little dry. But you know what? Let's try dipping it into one of the, dipping it into ranch. Maybe this is, combining these two will be good like that. Dip it in here, get some of the more of the flavor. Dip it into the ranch. Does get elevated a little bit because of the ranch. Combining it really pr pretty well. But the Thai curry would be so much more flavor if you're looking for the heat. So that is on the bottom of the list, in my opinion, so far. The five is decent, it's good, but it's not one I would recommend. So far, from top to bottom, we got the lemon pepper, the Thai curry, the sweet garlic, teriyaki, bar sweet barbecue, and the desert heat. It looks intimidating, it looks scary, but as far as my taste buds are concerned, it isn't there. Let's go on to the next one. The Asian Zing. Now this one is gonna be a saucy one. So let's get a good one for you. There we go. The one that's been sitting in the sauce. Good coating on it, enjoy. My turn. With Buffalo Wild Wings, it's a lot of marketing. Asian Zing is nothing more than the sweet and sour sauce that you get almost anywhere. On a wing, it is good, so but it's something that you could probably get a bottle of sweet and sour sauce, fry some wings, drench it yourself. That's pretty much what you can get here. It isn't too special, but it is good. Sweet flavor, a little bit of heat, nothing too crazy, nothing like the Thai curry or the spicy garlic, but there's a lot of flavor in there that kind of coats your mouth that gives you that sweetness. So I do recommend it. Where it sits on the scale would probably be even to the spicy garlic. It's comparable. It just one is going for the sweet and sour, the other one is going for the parmesan spice. So it just depends on what your taste bud is at that day. But it's kind of be my for my rating, it would be rated between those two. So for from top to bottom, I'm gonna start to forget the order soon. But lemon pepper, Thai curry, a tie between Asian zing and spicy garlic, then the teriyaki, then the sweet barbecue. Lastly, but not least. The desert heat. Let's move on to the next one. We got the most traditional wing, pretty much. It's a hot barbecue. This is probably the most traditional one you get at the grocery store. You buy the bag. Buffalo wings this is what you can get. Whew. Some of the heat is coming like collectively right now, but I'm drinking water to wash it down. Just get a taste right there. Enjoy. My turn. Mm. 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 Spicy. Woo! Spicy. But 
This is a spiciness that you're very used to. This is a spiciness pretty much across the board. This is probably the most traditional wings you're gonna get. This is pretty much the ones that almost every party, the one that almost everyone had, or when you think of wings, this is the one that you probably think of. The heat is there, the chicken is there. Mm. I'm already starting to sweat. Mm. Like I said. The most traditional. You think of wings, this is a flavor you can be getting. So keep that in mind. If you want traditional wings, if you want the same old plain Jane spicy wings, this is it. It has a lot of flavor, it's good, but it's a traditional. Keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next one. Lazy. This is where things get a little intense. We got the one that everyone's blazing about <laughs> the blazing this is gonna be the hot of the hot apparently so let's get get a good one in here let's have one that's been sitting in the sauce ah there you go hiding right there okay okay all right get you some ah, my turn Ooh. Mmm. Oh wow. Smacks you in the face right away. No forgiveness. To just boom. Mmm. Oh man. <coughs> Ooh. Authentic reaction right there. Mmm. Wow. That's no joke. <laughs> you gotta calm down. Spicy. <laughs> it's no joke. It's still burning my mouth as we speak, so the rest of these is gonna take some time. Oh wow, it's, it intensifies as you talk. So, if you're into the dare, I recommend that, but if you wanna save yourself, don't, don't get it. This does not help. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> we got here the Parmesan garlic. There you go. Take a bite. My turn. Mm. Mm. I should put that one for last because the, the heat of it is still in my mouth. But I can still taste this one above it. It's a lot sweeter. More mild. If you're looking for something a little sweet, this would be it. It has a lot of good flavor. You still get a lot of the chicken. Let's try it with some of the ranch. See how it built, blends in. Mm. Ironically, it actually blends in pretty well with the ranch. Definitely a recommendation for me. 
if you're looking for something a little sweeter. Now where it falls in into the category of where the wings are. Again, pie tied with the garlic and the zing would probably be the bar parmesan garlic as well. The main difference again is one is spicy, one isn't. So from top to bottom, I'm gonna exclude the blazing because if you're looking for heat, that is gonna be it. And so it's in its own kind of category. Me personally, probably not going to order it because it is extremely spicy. Too, too spicy for me. I am not afraid to admit it. So, from top to bottom would be the lemon pepper being my number one. The Thai curry. The, the next three are Thai with the spicy garlic, the Parmesan garlic, and the Asian zing. It goes down to the teriyaki, sweet barbecue, last but not least, is the desert heat. Now, we got here the Chipotle barbecue. It's gonna be a dry rub, this one. The last two we have is a Korean barbecue and the Chipotle barbecue. The Chipotle barbecue is a dry rub. Some of these have been the dry rubs. My favorite, the lemon pepper is a dry rub. We got the desert heat as a dry rub. And I believe that's it. Also, this one is going to be another dry rub. So what that means is that they fry the wing, and then while it's still hot, it, it, atta it you dust it with the flavor so that it attaches to it. So let's try this out. Got chipotle barbecue. Right there. The flavor chicken. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. Oh wow, this is actually really good. I know wings are supposed to be spicy, saucy, get your hands dirty, but so far, the Chipotle barbecue and the lemon pepper have been killing it. These are good. I'll definitely be ordering it again next time. It has a subtle heat. Not too crazy. It has a lot of flavor. It's pretty much going to be similar to the lemon pepper, being that it is barbecue and chipotle together, so it has that spice to it. But I don't. I think the Thai curry will be a little, will top it a little bit more because it's more intense flavors. So top to bottom, lemon pepper, Thai curry, the chipotle barbecue, next tied for in three places. The th three of them tied for the next place. We have Parmesan garlic, spicy garlic, and the Asian zing. Down the line is a uh, teriyaki, sweet barbecue, and the desert heat. The, the hot barbecue and the blazing aren't on these categories because they're two different things. One is if you're extremely good with spicy stuff and you just want something spicy, then you got the blazing. 
If you just want the traditional barbecue, traditional wings, this is going to be it, the hot barbecue. The rest of these I'm rating because these are more of the interesting different flavors. Now, you always have to have something to wash it down. With the water. Now this last one is one of their newest flavors, so that's why I got it, so I could try it out, bring it to you. Korean barbecue is pretty much a favorite food of mine. I love going to Korean barbecue. It's pretty much where you cook the food in front of you. There's a big, 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 not a big. There's a big grill, grill in front of you. You throw meat onto it, let it cook, scoop it out, dip it in your sauce, and eat it. Great. The most common food, most common meat there is pretty much the bulgogi. If you ever go, I'll I'm probably gonna do a video of it. Stay, st stick around for that. And bulgogi is gonna be your go-to. Just keep that in mind. If you ever go out for Korean food and you want some beef, bulgogi. It's awesome. Next, so we're gonna try this. Let's see how it is. Let's get a good one. There we are. Have some. Enjoy. My turn. Mm. It's decent. It has a good flavor. Even maybe based on the fact that I've had Korean food and I know what it tastes like and I will know what, it, what to expect. So I hold it at a high scale, I would guess. But it's nothing too intense. Between that or the Asian Zing, I would go for the Asian Zing. You get a little bit more, more flavor impact, more of an impactful flavor. It was very subtle, very kind of like milder, I would say. Nothing to rave about. It's a pretty mild flavor. So, it isn't something too crazy for it. I don't recommend getting it. Due to the fact that there are other flavors that surpass it. I mean, if you want to try it, you can. But it is a bit compare, comparing to the spicy garlic, the Asian zing, you got the Parmesan garlic, Chipotle barbecue, Thai curry, lemon pepper, or even the traditional hot barbecue. Those are the flavors I would probably recommend over the Korean one. I know it is gonna be their advertised or newest one, but these ones I just listed out are even better, in my opinion. And those are the ones you should probably be getting. So out of the six here, my top five, the lemon pepper, Thai curry, the uh, Chipotle barbecue, the Asian Zing, and the spicy garlic. Those are probably the ones I would recommend above all else. If you're looking for interesting flavors, again, if you're looking for something more traditional, hot barbecue would be it. If you're looking for something daring and need to kill your taste buds or want something super extremely spicy, the blazing. I took one and I almost died. <laughs> so, this is if you really want something spicy, if you want to dare someone, this would be a very good dare and see their reaction. But that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, 
subscribe to my channel for more content like this comment below on which of these you would get and uh, stick around there'll be more videos to come enjoy and have fun